Hey guys, Mario Rodriguez here. Just a quick thought because I want to go to work and everything, but I just couldn't wait. Uh, I just saw the the first like real big official trailer of, of Superman versus Batman: Donald Justice. I haven't really given much thought on the movie all this time, all these updates, because I just I don't know. I just didn't really care too 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 much about it and I mean there wasn't really much to talk about it's just lots of like photos of what Batman looks like and oh my god Bat uh, Ben Affleck is Batman oh no oh no and they're trying to cram Wonder Woman in it and it's basically like a like a step up like you try to make it into like like the road to a to um the Justice League so they could eventually make a Justice League movie and maybe Wonder Woman can have her own movie blah blah blah, blah. but anyways yeah um the first big official trailer that really shows a lot of stuff now um there was this weird teaser trailer about like Batman chained up or something and Superman comes in looking all angry and there's all these soldiers the weird parts is the soldiers all like kneel like kneel before Superman that's kind of weird and Superman just um rips off Batman's mask because oh gosh it's Bruce Wayne or whatever but that was that was a very weird one that that's people are saying that it must be like a dream or nightmare sequence but I think just the scene with the with the soldiers kneeling and everything, like if Superman was some kind of god or something, that 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 um does make it look weird. Like it has to be like a weird nightmare or something, or just I don't know what the fuck's going on there. That's weird. But um yeah, so basically the trailer shows how Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne meet, and they're already kind of clashing because of course everyone hates the mysterious bat vigilante that's taking the lawns with his own hands or whatever. And the big things of the movie is that Lex Luthor's in it, and it's kind of weird because considering the fact that they're going with the older, kind of gray hairish Batman from Dark Knight Returns, um, Lex Luthor looks very, very young. He has his long hair. Maybe they're doing it like like some of the older, older 60s or 50s or comic books. There was one origin where, where Lex Luthor had hair, and for whatever reason, some kind of accident made him lose it, and since Superman was there, he blamed Superman for it, so... Maybe they're doing that, even though that is kind of hokey, especially since nowadays everyone wants to do it like all super serious, you know, nowadays in the modern comics, Lex Luthor is more of a, like an evil Bruce Wayne, evil Iron Man, multi-billionaire, you know, guy that runs a business, Lex Corp, he's not the weird scientist dude from the older days, you know, but that's kind of weird though. And um, the second big thing is that it looks like, I guess, Luthor found um, General Zod's body. Spoiler for people who haven't seen Man of Steel, how, you know, Superman snapped Zod's neck or whatever. And I guess he turned him into some kind of evil clone doomsday wannabe. And near the end, as he's about to blast, I guess, Batman in the Batmobile or something, um, Wonder Woman shows up and deflects the blast with her shield. And it is kind of funny how, um... Superman's like, uh, with Batman, like, you know, uh, she with you, and so Batman's like, oh, I thought she was with you, you know, so it's like a big mystery and whatever, and I don't know, it's weird, it's weird, um, I got no real, like, opinion in, in regards of whatever, I mean, I'm just gonna take it for what it is, okay, comic book wise, this is like comic book be damned, they're really just doing whatever the fuck they want into it. Wonder Woman has no business in there if they wanted to do it like The Dark Knight Returns or whatever. Because I don't believe she was even in that story. But it's all very weird. It's just weird. It's just weird. It's also weird that this is like it just jumped the gun. It was, I mean, Superman was going to have his, his normal sequel, I believe. Before he started to throw Batman into it. And then like... Now they want to throw Wonder Woman into it, and, and you know, it's it's weird. It's, it's like what people have been saying, that DC just got jealous of the of how big the Avengers got, and so they're trying to rush it the fuck up to just get to Justice League, which we just kind of, like I said, it's just rushy, because, like, Marvel took their time with uh, Iron Man and Captain America, Thor, all their, like, separate movies before making the Avengers. They didn't just make... Captain America with like all these random guys in it and then all of a sudden the next movie's already Avengers. So I don't know what they're gonna do. And um of course the Suicide Squad um also has like like apparently it's supposed to take place within this same universe, which is kinda weird because it makes me wonder. I've heard Batman will be in it. I just don't know if it's gonna be like this older grayer Batman from this version, or is it supposed to be maybe Batman a bit more in his prime? But it's kind of weird. It's also very weird to think that this, the Joker that they got now, the Jay Leto version of the Joker, that's the Joker we're going to see. And the movie did show some clips, the trailer, I should say. Batman was like, well, Bruce Wayne was like, like, you know, I don't like Superman because he knows his city outfit's like, yeah, this city has like bad, um, 
like, we don't take too kindly to people addressed as clowns, or something like that, he said. And, of course, he showed little things like a ha-ha-ha, the joke's on you thing, which, is, of course, is like Joker spray paint or whatever. I don't know if it's going to have a cameo in the movie or not. But it's just interesting. So, I don't know. I think it's going to be a good movie in the sense of shut off your brain and just watch the movie. It may not be epic. It may not copy the comic books good. They're going to probably screw a whole fuck. I mean, just looking how the Joker is in Suicide Squad, that's already, like, jumping and spitting all over the comics how it is. But I guess it's just going to be a good movie and uh, just shut off your brain and watch the movie. And I don't know, I guess. And they also want to see if they could like take advantage of this. If Wonder Woman does a good enough job and gets a good enough positive reception in the movie, hopefully they'll make like a Wonder Woman movie because it was taking forever. Lots of drafts, lots of whatever. Like people just like for whatever reason they I don't, even, I don't even understand the argument of why you can't make a good wonder woman movie and everything but um maybe they'll use this to make the movie but anyways that's my thoughts um i have to go to work and everything i don't really have time to post the link below but i'll do it after work or whenever i can but this is like big it's everywhere you could easily Search YouTube or Google or whatever. Um, big Batman, I'm sorry, Superman v Batman, Dawn of Justice, Trader number two. And I'm sure you'll find it like in, in not even half a second, you know? So, anyways, guys, see you later. Gotta go to work, gotta get dressed, all that good stuff. Bye, bye, bye. And, you know, yeah, catch you next time. And also, as for the Civil War Trader, I mean, I much have to talk about it, but it looks pretty epic. Um, it's kind of confusing because it looks like it's more about um, Captain America trying to save. The Winter Soldier from everyone trying to get after him. And I guess this, this leads to the big, um, you know, disagreements between Captain America and Iron Man and, and everything. There was this, at least there was this one scene where people were talking about how Captain America is, is considered a vigilante and are hanging on papers and stuff. I mean, that might be the only hint I see in the trailer that it might actually still be about the Superhero Registration Act like the original Civil War comic book was about. But so far, it does look like the real big focus is more on... Like, everyone cracking down on the Winter Soldier and um, Captain America trying to, like, save him because he's his friend, like, no matter what. Even if he has to go against Iron Man and possibly other Avengers uh, members to go with it. But, yeah. So, anyways, guys. Um, see you all later. It's pretty cool. I'll put the links below whenever I can. And off to work I go. See ya.